Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to clinically differentiate between ringworm, also known as tinea, and discoid eczema. Both can look similar, red, circular, itchy, but there are key differences every clinician should know. The most important clues are the margin and central area. Tinea has a sharply defined, raised, scaly border that often expands outward leaving a central clearing which is a hallmark of tinea infection. In contrast, discoid eczema has poorly defined, oozy or crusted edges and no central clearing. Tinea tends to be asymmetrical. But, discoid eczema can be multiple and symmetrical. Tinea is mostly dry and scaly, discoid eczema often oozes or crusts, especially in the acute phase, and may have small vesicles too. And features of eczematization also may be present in chronic untreated cases. Tinea slowly spreads outward as the fungus grows, discoid eczema tends to persist in one place for weeks and relapses often, both itch, but eczema's itch is usually more intense and chronic. Tinea can appear almost anywhere, especially in warm, moist areas, discoid eczema prefers limbs, particularly shins and forearms, and often affects people with dry skin or atopy. Lab tests confirm the diagnosis. A simple KOH mount will reveal fungal hyphae in tinea while eczema shows no fungus. This one is a lifesaver. I personally use this technique a lot more than I should. In the real world, sometimes differentiating between tinea and discoid eczema becomes almost impossible. So, if you must treat the patient, because no other consultation option is available, then use this technique. That is, if you are unsure of the diagnosis between the two, then give antifungal drugs and follow up after one week. If the response is positive, continue antifungal medication and diagnose it as tinea. If no response, think of eczema and suggest proper medication for that. Remember, steroid is absolutely contraindicated in tinea, they will worsen the condition, leading to tinea incognito. So, let's do a quick recap, tinea usually appears as a round, dry, scaly patch with a sharp, raised border, clear center, and gradual outward spread, often on one side of the body, and it improves with antifungal treatment, discoid eczema, on the other hand, shows multiple, symmetrical, coin-shaped plaques that are ill-defined, oozing, or crusted, have no central clearing, tend to persist in relapse and respond better to steroid therapy than antifungals. That's all for today. Hope it helps. All resource credits are given in the description.